Remineralization of teeth is a process in which minerals are returned to the molecular structure of the tooth itself. Teeth are porous, allowing fluids and demineralization beneath the surface of the tooth. When demineralized, these pores become larger. Tooth decay process, although a key feature of tooth decay is an increase within dental plaque of bacteria such as Streptococcus mutans and Lactobacillus, it is not considered as an infectious disease. Tooth decay can be managed by modifying behavior to controlling its causative factors, that is reducing the frequency of fermentable carbohydrates from food. This will reduce the chance of the dental biofilm developing to a cariogenic biofilm. The bacteria in a cariogenic biofilm produce organic acids when carbohydrates, especially sugar, are eaten. When enough acid is produced so that the pH goes below 5.5, the acid dissolves carbonated hydroxyapatite, the main component of tooth enamel, in a process known as demineralization. After the sugar is gone, the mineral loss can be recovery de euro, or remineralized euro from ions dissolved in the saliva. Cavities result when the rate of demineralization exceeds the rate of remineralization and the latticework is destroyed, typically in a process that requires many months or years. Fluoride therapy Fluoride therapy is often used to promote remineralization. This produces the stronger and more acid-resistant fluorapatite, rather than the natural hydroxyapatite. Both materials are made of calcium. In fluorapatite, fluoride takes the place of a hydroxide. Equals effect of fluoride equals, fluoride creates low levels of fluoride ions in saliva and plaque fluid and thus exerts a topical or surface effect. A person living in an area with fluoridated water may experience rises of fluoride concentration in saliva to about 0.04 mg per litre several times during a day. Technically, this fluoride does not prevent cavities but rather controls the rate at which they develop. When fluoride ions are present in plaque fluid along with dissolved hydroxyapatite, and the pH is higher than 4.5, a fluorapatite like remineralized veneer is formed over the remaining surface of the enamel. This veneer is much more acid resistant than the original hydroxyapatite, and is formed more quickly than ordinary remineralized enamel would be. The cavity prevention effect of fluoride is partly due to these surface effects, which occur during and after tooth eruption. The calcium used to rebuild teeth must be dissolved in the saliva. Some remineralization methods may work for white spot lesions, but not necessarily intact tooth surfaces. See also Amorphous calcium phosphate, calcium lactate, calcium phosphate, novamin, recoldant, tooth development, toothpaste, tooth enamel. References Further reading, Chow, L. Diffusion of ions between two solutions saturated with respect to hydroxyapatite. A Possible Mechanism for Subsurface Demineralization of Teeth. Journal of Research of the National Institute of Standards and Technology 115, 217 Euro 224 DOI, 10.6028 JRES. 115.015. Pages 2966276. PMID 21037801.